What did you learn in school that has since been proven false? That I can't use my notes in life. TF does that even mean? I'm always looking at my notes when I do my job. That cracking your fingers gives arthritis. My college professors aren't going to nice and lend me a pencil if I forgot one. Funny enough, just had a conversation with my wife and my son about George Washington's wooden teeth. They were not wooden. He actually had lost all his teeth by 30 and is known to have had at least four sets of dentures. That my permanent record was permanent or even existed. And that it would somehow affect my actual life. Ain't nobody offering me drugs. WTF. We learned the planet name mnemonic my very easy method just speeds up naming planets. My very easy method just seems useless now. That you taste different things bitter, sweet, sour, etc. on different parts of your tongue. I remember in elementary school doing the experiment where you drop liquids on different parts of your tongue to taste the difference. Turns out that's bullshit, you taste everything everywhere on your tongue and the experiment worked by confirmation bias. Detention suspensions will go on your permanent record. The Food Pyramid Brought to you by Big Grain For some reason I learned in school that you can suck venom out of a snake bite. Don't do that. In elementary school it was the four food groups. By high school it was the food pyramid. Once I got to college it was my plate. Who knows what it'll become next because nutrition is always changing. Asbestos the wonder material. Now when you see it the dude carrying it is wearing a nuclear proof spacesuit. That if I got into drugs I'd be doomed to a life of taking terrible jobs. I ended like that and I never even got to take any drugs. That if I went to college I would get a good job and be able to buy a big house with a pool. That we would all be fully converting to the metric system by the 80s. My congressman represents me. That college professors were hardcore, my freshman year my physics professor made us throw tennis balls around for an entire lecture. That I needed to play the recorder. That shit won't fly in the real world. Meanwhile, that shit in the real world, airplane. Marijuana is a gateway drug. Alcohol. It was always alcohol. That I'd never be conveniently walking around with a calculator in my pocket. Though DBH, at the time, the concept would have been a little weird. Man, when I think back on all the crap I learned in high school, it's a wonder I can think at all. That future jobs will care about my permanent record and my GPA. None of these fuckers have asked about my grades or GPA they keep asking me if I can come in early, cover some guy's shift, stay late, work weekends, work holidays, work my days off. That blood is blue and unoxygenated. This wasn't actually taught in the curriculum, but one day there was a group of kids in my class arguing with me about it, so we asked the teacher to tell us who was right. She froze with a deer in the headlights expression, and I knew in that moment that she had no idea. However, she then decided to agree with the other kids that blood is in fact blue. All the other kids pointed at me and laughed, and I lost a little bit of the faith I had that adults knew what they were doing. My being a gifted student was mostly just undiagnosed ADHD and a self-imposed need to prove I was as good as they said I was. But I almost never did my homework, I was just really good at taking tests and pulling my ass out of the fire at the last minute. Turns out when you're never given the tools to be able to learn how to focus, and don't get the social skills you need because you're an awkward academic introvert, it does not bode well for your adulthood. No child left behind, my ass. That there was only enough oil to last until 2010. That good handwriting will I press keys on the computer every day. The food pyramid isn't so correct after all. That high school was the best years of our lives. That when Columbus discovered North America everyone thought the world was flat. Albert Einstein wasn't bad at math. He was always really, really good at it. Not sure how or why my teacher thought that would motivate or make me less of a dipshit at math. I wasn't sitting there not getting it thinking if only Einstein was stupid too once that the government has our best interests at heart you won't get anywhere by cheating or lying tell that to your average politician that napoleon was short that thomas edison was anything other than a good businessman that french lady who name currently eludes me didn't say the thing about cake that blood was blue inside your body and only turned red after you cut yourself because it's exposed to oxygen you can be anything if you just work hard enough our government runs because of an intricate system of checks and balances of one branch over another. That learning cursive was important. 
that if I couldn't type 25 words a minute then there was no reason to learn how to type since that is the basic speed of handwriting. I remember in like first grade they teach you the budget cheap Thanksgiving story then like 4 or 5 years later boom it's a lie and lots of death. I was told with great sincerity that Jimmy's mother was an obese sex worker. Turns out she was an accountant and in excellent shape, man shrugging. Do well in school. Graduate. And, you'll succeed. I have family and friends that followed this recipe but are struggling to make ends meet. The different taste zones on the tongue. Even as a kid I thought that was dumb. If you study hard and get good grades you'll be set in life. The Alamo. Remember the Alamo? Why was it what? Um Mexicans were oppressing the white folks. Wrong. The Mexicans didn't allow slavery and Sam Houston and the rest of the gang needed slaves to make money in the cotton biz. If you study hard, you will have a good paying job. My computer teacher in elementary school told us to not press caps lock because it would lock the computer. That people dying from rocking on their chair is a lot less of a problem than I was led to believe. That people who do good and follow the rules do well in society. Also nice try with the recycling toys but turns out people aren't actually trying to save the earth and we are not a part of this exquisite plan to change things whatsoever. That everything that we learn in school will be helpful for us later in life. Pluto There's no evidence that the Vikings had horns on their helmets. I remember this being such an important aspect when learning about them. Not medical school or any medical classes but the whole deoxygenated blood is blue thing. Gen X was always told that learning math was absolutely necessary because you're not going to just carry a calculator around with you for the rest of your life. Today I carry a phone that functions as a calculator, a map, and the Library of Alexandria all rolled up in one. Suck on that Mrs. Shaw. The Civil War was about states' rights. The Confederate states literally wrote down their reason for breaking away from the Union was slavery. French hear usual historical shit about Gallic being our ancestors. Still a popular belief. But Gallic have been vastly weeped out by Romans, then wildly mixed with multiple Latin population from Mediterranean origin, then a Germanic population called the Franks gained territories until, at some point, it became the Kingdom of France. So yeah, French has nothing to do with Vercingetorix pals. They were just geographically at the same place. Your tongue having sweet sour salty sections? I'm an idiot, so sure of course I just thought I was defective. But there were actually intelligent, socially competent kids in my class, who challenged other misconceptions stated by teachers, so why not this? Very confused still. It's clearly false, but still, maybe it's a joke I still haven't got? I don't know. I mean, why, as much as anything? That if I smoke pot I'll die of a heroin overdose and two virgins can give each other the AIDS. That you have to fit in for people to like you. That you need a four years degree to succeed. Let me tell you I have a four years degree. My job does not require and did not give a crap about my degree. I left it out of my resume. Edit. Just to clear things up. I'm not implying that a four year degree is useless, I'm saying a four year degree is not required. Which is all I'm saying. My case is just an example. The only place a man can feel pleasure is on the glands. The food pyramid, the old one that said grains were the most important food group. Now my doctor tells me bread is bad for you. There are only three states of matter. That you can be anything you set your mind to. My math teacher always said that I wasn't going to have a calculator with me all the time. The areas of a tongue. That you stay with your school friends forever. I made sure and block all the classmates that tried to add me via Facebook, even if I graduated on O2 without forgiveness or forgetfulness. I learned that the USA is the only free country in the world. Not even remotely true. Good guys always win. Columbus thought that the world was flat or something like that. The truth is he was just very bad at predicting the Earth's circumference. The map of the tongue where your taste buds were labeled. Yes, I will always have a calculator with me at all times thank you very much. That weed is as bad as cocaine meth heroin. I was told I'd need to know the female genitalia for when I'm an adult, I'm currently 43 and still have zero interest in it. That popular kids have the most potential. Something about windows or glass being a liquid. That if I have sex before marriage I will die a horrible, gruesome, death from a disease. It was complete with hundreds of graphic slides of diseases. That was the entirety of sex ed. Yes, 
I went to Catholic school, angry face. Pluto is a planet. O is not a planet. Wait is a planet. Or is. What? You can't pee with an erection. Pluto. Drugs are bad. My doc doesn't mind me taking. Only college grads make a decent income. Government works for the people.